What's up you guys, it's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I create these beautiful little cute balloon flowers that are perfect for your Easter theme balloon decor. They can be used in any type of decor but I think they are just perfect for Easter theme. But before we get started, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and also leave me some comments in the comment section below. Let me know if this video was helpful for you. You. So before we get into the tutorial, I want to take this time to send a big shout out to Timu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys are not familiar with Timu, they're an online marketplace where you can purchase literally anything and everything y'all. You can download the Timu app on your Android or iOS device and start shopping today. They are currently having a spring sale going on where you can get up to 90% off their already low prices y'all. 90 percent off like are you seeing the prices that's on the screen imagine getting 90 percent off of that and they provided me with a exclusive code for you guys to get an additional 30 percent off your items at checkout i will leave the code on the screen for you all to see it on the marketplace you can find items like home decor kitchen essentials clothes shoes health and beauty products event decor items like balloons backdrops tablecloths and tablewares Timu also allow you to buy now and pay later. You can buy now and pay later at checkout if you use Afterpay or Klarna. So you have that option. Plus, you can also use your credit or debit card at checkout. The direct link to access Timu will be in my description box below. And I will also leave the link to all of the items shown in today's video. Remember to use my code FEST895 or the code as you see on the screen if you would like to save more money at checkout. Thank you again, Timu, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back into this tutorial. Okay, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make two sizes. You can go even bigger if you want or super small, but I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this size. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how I make this size. So I'm going to be showing you guys two sizes. For the smaller size, I use 5-inch balloons. And for this size, I use 11-inch balloons. So I'm going to be using Qualitex 5-inch white and Sempertex matte yellow or pastel yellow. So I'm using my hand pump and I'm going to do about two pumps. And it gives me this size. And if your balloon aren't round enough, you can just squeeze down on it and release some air until it's at a round shape that you like. So I think this size is perfect. I'm using a hand pump and not like a balloon sizer, so I always have to make sure that my balloons are the same size. So I like to just eyeball them like this, just to make sure that they're the same size. You, get, you can use a balloon sizer if you want to, but I usually just eyeball my balloons. Even for my balloon columns, I eyeball my balloons. <laughs> And for the center, which is the pastel yellow, I'm going to be making it way smaller. I'm going to be making it smaller than the size. So I just did one pump and I think I like that size. I can deflate it a little bit just to make it real tiny, but I think that is perfect. And I'm just going to tie it to this last balloon that I have right here. Okay guys, so in total I have seven balloons right here. You can use six, but I'm going to show you guys why I use seven. So I have my first two pairs and I'm going to intertwine them around three or four times. I'm just gonna wrap them around. One, two, 
three, and you can do it four, five, six times, whatever you want, but I like to do three or four. So four right here, and I have another pair right here, which includes the center. So I'm just gonna wrap that in. This is just with four um, leaves. So this is how your flowers is supposed to look. But it doesn't really stay together. You see, it doesn't really stay together. If I let it go, then it just forms back into this and your flowers will look like this. We don't want that. So that is why I have an extra balloon. And you can make this extra balloon smaller or you can just make it the same size as your white ones. I just make it the same size because it doesn't matter. So basically what I'm going to be doing is using this as like a stopper. This will stop the balloons from like, you know, forming back into a cluster. So I'm going to basically be putting it in the center of the back or just putting it in the back of the flower. So I'm just gonna tie it in there. Just tie it by the neck to one of the other balloons. But when I tie it, this is how it looks, which still looks like a cluster. So now I'm just gonna take one of these balloons and bring forward. And the balloon in the back is going to be like a stopper and it's going to, you know, stop my balloons from like forming into a cluster. So you can just fix your balloons, make sure that, you know, they're all leveled and stuff. And now you have your flowers look how cute it is so that is how you want your flowers to look and i'm going to create another one a bigger size with 11 inch balloons to look exactly like this but just bigger and for this i'm going to be using my electric pump but also eyeball it <laughs> Like you can use a balloon sizer if you want to, but I'm just going to eyeball it. So my 11 inch pastel yellow, I'm going to make it way smaller than I did for the white balloons. So I'm gonna bring it down to around this size. I think that was perfect. Just tie it. I'm gonna go ahead and just tie it into this cluster of four. You can put together your clusters whichever way you want because the results will all be the same. Yes. So it looks like that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my last pier. Just wrapping it in about three or four times. All right and it automatically formed into the flower. <laughs> you just go ahead and just make sure that everything is straightened. So I'm just gonna go in and fix all the balloons. I don't think there's, there's, there's no need for like glue dots or anything like that because when you add it to your garland or your bouquets, it won't move. So this is the larger size with 11 inch balloons and this is how the back of it look. This is just stopping all of the balloons from like forming into a bunch or a cluster. So there you have it. All right, you guys, so that is all for this video. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section below. Shout out to Timu again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check out Timu, the link for their website will be in the description box below. If you guys would like to save some more money off of the website that is already low price, you guys could use my code and save 30 to 40% off. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Make sure that you guys give this video a like. Leave me some comments in the comment section below. Let me know if this video was helpful and let me know what other type of short tutorials you guys would like to see 
Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the fam. But I'll definitely catch y'all in my next video. Bye!